Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Farming Valley. This is a really cool mod pack that's based on Stardew Valley and basically everything that that game has and farming based and all that. It is really, really cool actually. And I'm actually excited to install it and play it a little bit myself. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and get on into it. But wait, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want to start a Farming Valley server, Apex makes it very, very easy with just one click. You can also host everything from bucket and spigot servers with plugins to your own custom mods over at Apex Minecraft Hosting. We love them so much, we actually host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. But nevertheless, if you want an incredible Minecraft server that's up 24 hours a day and DDoS protected, check out Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below. Again, that's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, to get Farming Valley installed, what we want to do is go to the second link down below, and that will take you here. You might be like, Nick, what is this? This is the Twitch downloads page? What is this? Well, Farming Valley is actually hosted off of the Twitch app, so that's why we need to download this. So once you're here, you want to click on this download for Windows under the Twitch app. If you're on Windows, if you're on Mac, you obviously click that, but nevertheless, we're on Windows. Now, on Mozilla Firefox, this will pop up in the center of the screen. On Google Chrome, it'll be in the bottom left of the screen, but you need to save the file or keep the file. If you're on Google Chrome, you'll click keep on Mozilla Firefox. You'll click save file. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have the Twitch setup here. Now this isn't on your desktop, no worries. It's in your downloads folder. Click this little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. Click that little Windows icon there. Type in downloads right like so. Click on that downloads folder and then drag Twitch setup from your downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use. Once it's on your desktop, you can double click on it. Twitch is going to install like any other app. And as you can see, I actually had it already up there, but I'll, I'll show you what the installer looks like. So when you double click on the Twitch app, it will open up this nice installer and you want to click that purple install button. Then it will go ahead, install, and then up open up the Twitch app like it just did. Now, you will need to sign into the Twitch app, and yes, you do need a Twitch account to play Farming Valley, so that is something that you need. You need a Twitch account, and once you've logged into your Twitch account, which if you don't have one, just create one. Once you've logged into it, you want to click on the Mods tab up here in the top right. Once you've clicked on Mods, you'll need to find Minecraft on this list. Stardew Valley is actually on it as well, but we're doing Minecraft, so we want to click on Minecraft on this list. Then you'll have a purple Install button, which you'll want to go ahead and click and install the Minecraft files, and then you'll land on this page. Then you want to click on Browse Mod Packs right here, and then type in Farming Valley, right like so, and there it is, Farming Valley, 1.1 million downloads, very, very successful and pretty good mod pack. Now we can go ahead and click this purple install button, and it'll go ahead and begin installing. I will see you after a very quick jump cut once this uh, mod pack is installed. It will take a while because, as you can see, 76 mods are downloading. So, see you after a quick jump cut, and uh, then we'll get in game. There we go, Farming Valley is now downloaded. We want to click on that purple play button to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, this is the Minecraft launcher that we all know and love and when you first open it up you'll be landing on this page which is the login page and you need to enter in your Minecraft login information here so go ahead do that and then click that login button and uh, then we'll be good to go ahead and start playing Farming Valley there we go now we log in and this is the normal Minecraft launcher now once you're in here you want to click these three lines up here in the top right and then click on launch options here you will then have a Farming Valley profile click on that and then we want to go ahead and upgrade the RAM here I would recommend running Farming Valley with at least four gigabytes of RAM, so that would be 4228 there. That's roughly four gigabytes of RAM, but I'm going to go ahead and, and go a little crazy with six gigabytes. I'm also going to change the resolution. Um, you don't have to do that, but I'm just doing that so once we get in game, you guys will be able to see it. Then we can go ahead and click save there, come back over to the news tab, and then we want to click this little green arrow next to the play button here. Click on Farming Valley. You see that? And then it should say Farming Valley right here under the play button. Then we can click play. Now, Farming Valley will open up and ready to install. If you get this unable to save, jopsimple.jar, all that, no worries. Close and just click play again. It's lying to you. It was able to download it and it's fine. I don't know why, but that's something that I've been noticing with Twitch Mod Packs is it gets that error over and over and over again. And then you just click play, they work perfectly. So I don't know what that is, but that is just one of the things you run into with Mod Packs. Sometimes they act a little weird. Nevertheless, I will go ahead and do a quick jump cut to finish these downloads. And then I wanna meet you while the uh, Mod Pack is opening. And then we'll see you on the main menu. So. One more jump cut, and then another jump cut, and then we'll be on the main menu. Is that, I'm rambling now. See you in just 
Boom, jump cut. So here we are, Farming Valley is now opening up, but if we drag this around, sometimes I was trying to, to make it happen here, but occasionally when you're opening up a mod pack, it'll just turn white and you'll get this like spinning cursor and it looks like it's going to crash, but it won't crash, just wait. And it will eventually fix itself. If it doesn't fix itself, you just need to add more RAM and then it'll open right on up. Also, it's going to take quite a while for the mod pack to open up on the first run. So just give it some time and it'll open up eventually. I'll see you on the Farming Valley main menu. And here we are on the main menu of Farming Valley. I'm going to go ahead and just jump into a quick single player world, create a new world here. We'll make it a creative world because why not? And then go ahead and jump on into it. This is a very, very cool mod pack. I'm actually really excited to actually like give this a shot myself and, and play a little bit because I have liked Stardew Valley in the past, but I like Minecraft more, and this combines them both, so this could be very, very good. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and let this world load, and oh, is it, has it loaded yet? No, okay, I'll go ahead and see you once the world is loaded up. No, I'm just, I just kept talking, and it was fine, and it loaded right on up. <laughs> There's rainbows and fireworks when you spawn in. That is absolutely incredible. So we do have the achievement book here. We have how to summon Harvest Goddess. Look at this. It's got its own custom texture pack installed. This is actually really, really cool. As you can see, we've got the spring one up here. So it does have different months of the year or specifically different seasons. Excuse me. That is really, really cool. So if I go into creative here, there are nine pages of different mods. That is incredible. Yeah, so there you guys have it. That is how you can install the Farming Valley Mod Pack. This actually looks like a really, really cool pack. It has an achievement book here. Yeah, enjoy. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and enjoy playing Farming Valley. I'm out. Peace.